Why should we try to create a new bank? While World Bank, ADB have been working wonderfully well. So first, the importance of infrastructure development and the lack of funds for financing infrastructure. Secondly, how to deal with that? We need a bank. But what is the function, what is the mission of this institution? of this institution is really a very, very important issue. And then the third, how many countries should be invited? Is this going to be inclusive or just an Asian investment bank, infrastructure investment bank? So we could work among the Asian countries. And finally, not last but not least, what would be the governance standards of this new institution? We intended this bank to be inclusive. We still have a need to have a new bank because we think this bank should be focused on infrastructure. We need to learn from the World Bank, ADB, EBRD. In my words, I pick up the pluses from those institutions and avoid the minuses of them. The European countries talked about shutting down EBRD because the mission was completed. But could you kill a teenager who is doing very well? Of course not. So they had to amend the article's remand, they had to expand and, and uh, re redefine the mission. So in our bank, we learn from them. You see, Asia Infrastructure Invest Bank's mission is to promote a broad-based economic and social development through investment in infrastructure and other productive sectors. And AIIB's membership is open to the members of the World Bank and ADB. If you look at this, you could be sure that these articles of agreement can serve us for the next 100 years without any amendment. We have universal recruitment. When we recruit people, we look at their track record. We look at their professional and ethical integrity. We don't look at their passports. I'm blind to nationality. So for us, zero tolerance for corruption is a key. And when China initiated this bank, a lot of people didn't believe it because China had corruption problems. I said, we want to show this is a bank with zero tolerance for corruption. And then finally, green. We have to be green. Climate change is a major challenge faced by the humans for ASEAN countries, for so many countries. And this is a, such a tough issue. Natural disasters have never been so sweeping, so devastating, and we need to deal with that.